This is the Redmi 9A, a budget smartphone from Xiaomi that was launched last year. It's really affordable at around $120 or even less in some markets, which makes it the cheapest phone that I've reviewed in my channel. Anyway, I'm going to review this phone in a budget perspective and see how it holds up. This phone was sent over by Mi Store Kenya. They sell Xiaomi products here in Kenya. So if you'd love to grab one without a hassle, check the first link in the description box and thanks to Mr. Kenya for providing this unit for review. Hey guys, what's up? This is Philips Future. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now that that is out of the way, let's get started. Kicking off with the design because that's what you'll be interacting with the most, the Redmi 9A is made out of a polycarbonate body and that's to be expected because at this price point you don't get to see phones with premium metallic or glass bodies that often. Don't get me wrong though, it doesn't feel bad at all. It has this kind of texture on the back that makes some noise when you scrub on it plus it helps make the phone a lot grippier so it doesn't slip out of your hands because well, this is a big boy. On the top there is that mighty headphone jack that has come to be a treasure nowadays but hey, here it is so you can listen to your music via wired earphones. On the right side there is a volume rockers alongside the power button. I'd hope for the volume rockers to be on the left side since I'm used to it being that way but it's not a big deal. On the left side there is a sim card tray that holds up to two sim cards and a micro SD card at a time for expendable storage. On the bottom side there is a microphone, a micro USB port and a single down firing speaker and that's it. The speakers sound just fine to me, it gets loud enough, which makes media consumption great pairing with that screen. As you've seen there is no fingerprint sensor on this phone, but to counter that you get face unlock that actually works as expected. Not with crazy speeds or something, but once you set it up it gets the job done and can even unlock your phone with your mask on, which is so welcome during this pandemic season, but I will not rely on it that much because of security concerns. That giant display is a 6.53 inch and has a resolution of 1600 by 700 pixels, a 269 ppi, which on paper doesn't sound great, but it's a good display when you actually use it. Colors are somehow accurate, vivid, and if you don't like the calibration, you can still set it to your preferred test, but I would recommend just leaving it in auto mode. Videos look good, and since it's a 720p, YouTube videos maxes out a 720p, which still looks great and sharp unless you're coming from a 4K display. Bezels are not that huge like you'll find on some other budget phones, although the chin is slightly big, but again, it's a budget phone, so you expect that. It has a teardrop notch that houses the selfie camera that we'll get to later in the video, and above that you get the earpiece speaker grill. The Redmi 9A runs on MIUI 12.0.8 based on Android 10, which packs a lot of features including dark mode. I've received a single update that came with January 2021 security patch and I don't think I can say that for most budget phones out there. Anyway, it's classic Xiaomi software that kinda looks like iOS. There's an option to enable an app drawer so your apps don't scatter all over your home screen and actually that's the first thing you should do when you get the phone. MIUI has improved over the years, animations are amazing with this phone and it's the little things that matters, which is no different here. The little animations when you uninstall an app plus the sounds that accompany the animations are just relaxing. I will do that all day because there are a lot of bloatware that comes with the phone, but luckily most of them can be removed. Animations are all the way in the OS, like in the about phone, under storage, you get this simulation like it's a fluid in a jar and it mimics the orientation of the phone, making it feel a little bit natural. With 2 gigs of RAM powered by MediaTek Helio G25 processor, performance is just what you'll expect from a budget phone. It's optimized thanks to MIUI 12, but sometimes I experience lag when launching applications like camera and settings. Light games play just fine, but graphic intensive games like PUBG or COD Mobile plays, but with hiccups and dropped frame rates. Again, you're not buying this phone to play heavy games, but what it's best suited for are day to day tasks like using social media apps making and receiving calls, messages, and watching some Netflix, YouTube, or even video calls. 
The main camera is a 13 megapixel f2.2 shooter that produces some good shots. I'll drop a few on the screen so you can judge by yourself. In my opinion, these photos are usable when taken in broad daylight or in well-lit areas. Dynamic range is also fine. Colors are on point, not too saturated like most manufacturers tend to do. One downside though is low-light photos come out a little bit noisy and soft, but that's to be expected because this phone does not have any kind of night mode. The camera app also has a pro mode, which was a surprise because you only find this mode on high-end phones, but here it is in a budget form. If you don't already know, pro mode lets you tweak almost every settings from white balance to focus points to ISO and shutter speed so you can get pictures you prefer. On the front, the 5 megapixel shooter also shoots some usable selfies and will just be fine for your video calls. Overall, I'd say it's an okay camera for the price you're paying. Battery life is one of the strongholds of the Redmi 9A. And I'm saying this because that 5000mAh battery doesn't die so easily. I mean you'll struggle to kill this phone's battery in a day. I tend to end my day with about 50% of battery life left and I'm a heavy user. I use camera a lot, I watch videos a lot and even play games sometimes, so battery life on this phone is amazing. The only downside is that it comes with a 10 watt power brick that charges the phone pretty slow. I mean, for that price, you get a lot that you'll normally never find in other budget phones. Software updates with the new security patches, great battery life, a good display and better cameras. So if you're on a tight budget, then Redmi 9A is a perfect pick. On the other hand, it will make a great gift for people who don't really use their phones heavily, but will really take advantage of that battery life. So if you want to grab one, check for the links in the description box. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe to the channel, drop a like and I will see you in my next video. Anyway, goodbye and most of all, stay safe.